hi thanks for joining my name is Julie Dorley and this with a simple diva and this is a simple diva discussion and today's discussion is about toners and we're going to talk about toners in general but then we're also going to talk about um, the toner that we have what I um, provide and it is a uh, rose water so first things first if you grew up in, I don't know, the 80s, like I did, and you say toner, you automatically think of like something that's alcohol-based and like is going to sting your skin and completely dry it out and, you know, like it, it just, it, it was something you put on after your cleanser and, you know, just was not an enjoyable type of um product to use. Well, turns out that even uh, dermatologists have found that it, like that type of toner is way too drying. Even for people who have excess oil control, it is way too drying. So um, they don't recommend that anymore. So there are different toners now. Now the toner we have is a rose water blend so it has a uh, rose extract and then um, what's it called sodium hyaluronate and and we could talk more about that in a bit but um, so the the purpose is still the same because what you what a toner was created for was to help your skin to maintain its pH balance and to control excess oils that's the whole point. So the rose water does the exact same thing. And it, when you're using it, it helps to soothe the skin after you cleanse. It helps to um, have you effectively absorb any other products that you put on, which is why it's super important to put it on between your cleanser and before your moisturizer. So it's just gonna make your moisturizer work that much better. Um, and then it reduces uh, the inflammatory properties that cause eczema and redness and dermatitis and acne. So that, who doesn't want that? And then also, because of its antibacterial properties, it's actually, it helps to aid in healing and scars and wounds. And let me tell you, especially sunburn. So Sidekick Susanna, if you followed anything of Sidekick Susanna's uh, antics, she is horrible about sunscreen. Now for t this year, 2020, we are hoping to change that with uh, the introduction of um, a sunscreen into her, um, her routine, but she is horrible at getting sunburn. So bad. And so we... I had rose water with me. I sprayed it on her. Her It was the top of her legs that were really, really bad and her face. And I sprayed it and like I, you know, coated her pretty thoroughly and a few times um, throughout the day. And the next day, I mean, she was a lobster. Like you could feel the heat coming off of it and it was swollen and puffy and just gross. And like it was just so bad. And we were sure that it would just still look like that the next day. But the next day, it looked totally fine. It was still red, like a sunburn, but it wasn't inflamed. It didn't hurt at all. It, you know, all that pain was gone. All the heat was gone. So it, rose water is really, really amazing for that. So that talks about all the things related to rose water for its regular use as a toner. But guess what? You can use it in other ways. Now, one of the ways that you can use it is in your hair. So, like normally when you're going to use it, you can either spray it directly on your face or you can spray it in your hand and then, you know, pat your face. You know, like this is a pretty heavy duty spritz, so it's it's a lot coming at you. But, you know, with your hair, you just give it a few spritzes and, you know, do whatever you typically do with your hair. And this is what it's going to do. It's going to help replenish lost moisture in your hair. It's going to make your hair more manageable, smoother, shinier, and healthier. And because of the anti-inflammatory properties, it's going to help to, or it can help reduce um, dandruff. Like, how awesome is that? And the stimulating properties 
um, can help increase scalp circulation and promote hair growth. All sounds good to me. How about you? Sign me up. There's a couple of other ways that you can use it. Um, a lot of times there will be applications that require a wet application as opposed to a dry application, like where you would want to get a blending bud wet. Well, instead of using water for those things, use your, use your rose water. It's a great time to do it and you just spray it on and you're good to go. If you want to get a darker eyeshadow than the actual color that's in your palette, you can spray your spray some rose water on your brush and then when you go to do that that's actually going to apply a darker um, level of color um, to your eyes and one last thing if you have dried up mascara you can actually get a little bit more life out of it I mean assuming it's not like totally dry by taking the wand you know kind of cleaning stuff off and then spraying the wand and then putting your thing back in, swirl it around, see what you can get out of it, and it will add a little bit of life. But let me tell you, if you are having to do that, it's time to talk to me about Epic Mascara because our mascara is the bomb. So why are you waiting for it? Let's get you a new mascara stat. But if you're waiting for your new mascara from me to show up, then okay, by all means, hop to it. So rose water, awesome, awesome stuff. Now I did mention that we would come back and talk about sodium hyaluronate. Now what that is, is it, it actually is very similar to the fluid that is in between your joints. And the reason why it is added to our rose water extract and our other extracts, there, there's some that come on special that we do, um, is because it helps the skin retain moisture. That's its whole job and it's not harmful and you know it 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 helps the rose water work uh better than if you were just going to go and make your own rose water so that's it if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask drop a comment below if you like this video please go ahead give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos like this like the simple diva discussion or the Simple Diva demos, I do demos too. So if you wanna see that, make sure that you subscribe to this channel and, um, and set your alarms so that you'll get notification when they come on. All right, have a fabulous day. Thanks, Mwah. bye.